Uh, she went to see a doctor quite recently, Indian chap. Well, they call it Indian chap, it's just nappy rash, really, but the thing is... <laughs> to make eye contact with your audience. This is something else I struggle with for the very simple reason, as you probably would have noticed by now, that I don't appear to have any eyes. <laughs> to make eyes, they're very well pronounced growls. You can certainly see a definite shadowy area where you may presume the eyes are, but it's nothing more than presumption, is it? You're filling in the gaps. <laughs> and you can see which way my nose is pointing, I suppose, and you can assume that I'm, you know, gesturing in your direction. But it's not the same as actually feeling a another sentient eye, you know. It's, it's always been the case, I was teased as a child, I remember, peaky little eyes, eyes like pistols in the snow. <laughs> Seen bigger eyes on a potato. <laughs> Mother could be very cruel. <laughs> Still, she's in a home now. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> I say home, it's more of a self-storage facility. <laughs> Saying that for? She says it is, but she's confused. <laughs> I had a new one recently, I went to have contact lenses fit. It couldn't be done, obviously, not in our room. <laughs> Didn't even try this chap. He took one look at me, he said, Stone me, my jack size bigger than that. <laughs> Which I thought was a bit unnecessary. Proving it was certainly unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> Far from conclusive, I never have an idea. Almost certainly in contravention of some sort of professional code, but they get away with murder opticians because they know you can't spot them in a lineup. 